Hey everyone, Charles here at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look at the Yakima on-ramp on the 2020 Reflection 5th wheel by Grain Design. So this is your platform style rack. It's great for your heavy bikes, your electric bikes. Each tray can accommodate up to 66 pounds per bike, and it is rated for your fifth wheels, RVs, motorhomes, cars, trucks. So we're gonna have three attachment points, two straps on both of your wheels, and a frame mount. What I like about the frame mount is that it has this, these grooves for added traction and they're rubberized for added protection. Rotatable, you can slide them up and down. And it comes with this cable lock that attaches around your bikes into your anti-rattle bolt. We'll get into that a little bit later. Something to keep in mind, these handlebars are about 25 inches. And so we have about a two inch distance right there. It's not gonna get too closer than that, but just something to note. To take the bike off, we're gonna start with the straps here by pushing them out of the way. My favorite thing about this rack is the ramp feature. So to access the ramp, you just unscrew this knob here and pull the ramp out. It's gonna connect right here on either side so you're not limited to what side you can load and unload. Snaps into place like that. And then I keep my arm supporting the bike here so it doesn't hit your vehicle. A little problem that we ran into when we were trying to unload the bike is that this pedal was going to interfere with this mass here. On certain trucks and, our, and cars we can just lean the bike and roll it down but because of our RV here we're just going to take the ramp and put it on the other side. And keep in mind of your step ladder right here. Got to do a little bit of micro adjustments but ramp definitely makes it easier to get your extra heavy electric bikes on and off the rack. And then we are just gonna put the ramp back on, screw this knob on top. All right, moving on to the cradles. You're gonna be able to accept a tire width of three and a quarter inches. And the straps pivot to accommodate your wheel bases of up to 50 inches. To fold the mask down in the storage position, we're gonna pull on this knob, make sure these are out of the way. Locks into place. So the length added to the back of your vehicle from the bumper to the furthest point out is about 31 and a quarter inches, something to keep in mind when you're backing into a tight space. And the ground clearance to the bottom of the shank is about 16 inches. Another thing to keep in mind when you're going up hills or up steep driveways, the front of your vehicle is gonna go up and the rear is gonna go down. Another awesome feature about this rack is the tilt away and fold up feature. You might not use it too much on your fifth wheel, but if you want to put this on another vehicle, it'll give you ease of access to open up your truck or whatever. So to tilt it, we're just going to pull out this pin and pull on this knob as we lower it. For the fifth wheel, it is going to make it a little bit easier to get on the ladder here. And to fold it up, we're going to pull on that same lever. And for this reflection, you might have to do some adjusting so that we don't make any contact. Like so, there is a little bit of contact from this mast right here. So if that's something that you don't want, then you're definitely fine to just keep it in its flat position. This is your two inch shank that's gonna go into your two inch hitch. And it comes with an anti-rattle bolt and cable lock as well keeping your bike secure to the rack and the rack secure to your vehicle, giving you that peace of mind that nobody's gonna run off for your bikes or your rack. The anti-rattle feature, as you can see, 
as I shake, I'm actually shaking the whole fifth wheel, ensuring it's secure connection and that there's no play within the receiver tube. Final thoughts about this rack is that it is an excellent choice, especially if you have multiple vehicles with its tilt away and fold and fold up function makes it great, especially the ramp, making your loading and unloading of your heavy bikes that much easier. If you wanted something with a little bit more weight capacity for your fifth wheels and RVs, check out the Swagman e-spec. But otherwise, this is a solid quality build that's going to get the job done. And that does it for our look at the Yakima on-ramp on the 2020 Reflection fifth wheel by Grand Design.